Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Fredegar in Elder King's Mod. So, we have absolved our claim on that thing. Um, although, my marshal seems to be lower than it was before. Must be because of the events. These things probably take effect one day in. Whoop! There they are. Yep, back up to 32 where we were. Okay, so, we've absolved our claim on the land. There should be a button for that. Like, voluntarily give away your claims. Seems to me like that would be a pretty reasonable thing. Like, okay, I'm in prison. I'm going to be in prison forever. Or I could just say, okay, I don't... I, if I wanted to. Um, of course, that does hurt your, your dynasty, your family. But anyway, hey, Liege, dude. Um, please let us out. Yep. Now, he, he's a greedy bastard. Um, and he actually likes us now because we don't have the claim. So, whatever. I mean, it is what it is. We're, we're not going to spend the entire game in prison. That'd be stupid. So now our son, we can get him married as soon as he lets us out. Thank you for letting me out. Jesus. Okay. Alright, let's find a wife for my son. We also have some some other things to deal with, so... Uh, that seems fine. Double strong means it's even more likely. Demand duchy from liege. Oh. Grey March's rank is lower than king. Can be given away. Desired by me. Yeah, of course I desire it. Liege, any held title as rank duke. The liege likes us. Um, well, basically what's happening is that uh, he has the hold of Whiterun and the hold of Grey March. And <laughs> we can just immediately piss him off. Let's do it. <laughs> so now we can say, give us the duchy now. Give us the duchy. Uh, the regency's ended. Give me the duchy. Give it to me. My dear friend and vassal, you are a bedrock of loyalty, the cornerstone of the realm. Truly, there is support for your claim in the covenant. I know that the gods will reward you in time. My leash is wise. So basically, that was like a, a kind way of saying, no, you suck. We're not, I'm not going to give you the hold of Grey March. Um, so that's fine. We'll just have to kill him. Unmarried heir. We already did that. Okay. Um, new important decisions. Go on pilgrimage. Uh, no. Let's not do that yet. Open employment list. Do we have a good guy? We need a better steward. Let's find a better steward. Pretty crappy. We have a court priest. We might as well get one of those. Let's, um... Cure diseases, maybe? No. Tend to the wounded. I kind of like this, just so that there's... Slightly better troop gathering. Um... These will go away automatically. We've got pretty good income here. We had money. Need improved keeps to level 1. Which is 106 points. Well, fortunately, because we're out of prison now, our, our garrison, or our levy, goes up to 744. And we'll take the prestige, I think. It's pretty damn good. Now, of course, he's going to be like, Oh, will you totally be my marshal? Asshole. He's such an asshole. So who can we attack? What is my ambition? My ambition is to improve my diplomacy still. Make a move. We can go sleep with my daughter-in-law. <laughs> yeah. Of course, that sounds fun. She's maimed. She's an imperial. So we, <laughs> so we married my my son to uh, to some woman <laughs> just so we could sleep with her. <laughs> that is great. I gave her a good tumble. Um, now my wife still is a, is in love with that guy, so we should probably kill her. Can't get divorced. Can't kill her. Can we kill our leash? We're not exactly the intrigue type anyway. Adopt an orphan. No. My wife is pregnant. This time probably is my fault. So even that we have a love-hate relationship, but we're still going to have fun together. We could change army training up. This is one of those things where morale of armies is not nearly as a, as like a big of a modifier in CK2 as it is in EU4. It's not like they have like a yeah, sure, I'll be your marshal. Just don't get me killed. 
Lead, I want to lead troops. Let's go climb the 5,000 steps. Onward. Damn, there goes my troops again. You know that's going to go down the second. Alright, so we're going to go like a couple up. Yeah, let's just stop there. Basically, that's all it is. You just keep going until you until you roll bad. And then you get sent home. So you just try to get some piety out of it. You know, it's 1.7 gold for 40 piety. Hey, military tech. Yes, please. I would love to pick up some siege equipment or something. And what we could be doing is... Uh, my liege is actually at war up, up here again. The du jour war over Volskygi. Volski. My, my liege is... Oh, he's defending someone. Okay. Rorik's dead. When did the rift become independent? How'd that happen? You did what now? That's interesting. Do you believe in something other than what we believe in? No. Ravenhall, though, this guy. 486 troops. You know, if we got our levy up to full, we might be able to siege him. 500, 800... Just shy of 800. We just walk into Ravenhall and just burn the damn thing to the ground. I have a daughter. Okay. More likely, though, would be probably this county again. And it's a 15-year-old boy in charge this time with 500 troops. That's definitely the weakest target there. Oh, crap. My son became a master assassin. I should have, uh, once I got out of prison, I totally forgot to change over their heir, or their educator to me. But still, I mean, I guess that's okay. It's not quite as good. I mean, it's martial plus intrigue instead of pure martial, but whatever. He's a jungle train leader. That's pretty cool. Combat in Ellswear Jungle and Valen Woods. That's like down here, isn't it? Ellswear Jungles. Well, it is, it's a terrain type. Yeah. Terrain, Valen Woods, Valen Woods, Ellswear Jungle. Ellswear, that's like the cats, right? So why are you trained up for that? I guess he's preparing for future future paths that we're going to go down. You need to get the lady. I'll travel to the feast, yes. It's better than being in prison. Thanks for having us, bro. Uh, do we want to become a drunk? It does increase our marshal. <laughs> no. I'm going to piss off our liege instead. Alright, we are going to, I think, um, try to hire another steward. Because our steward is quite crap. This one's much better. Oh, she was already there. That's my daughter-in-law. My lover. She wants to become steward anyway. Yeah, absolutely. And we'll collect taxes for now. Oh, looks like our first one, uh, first one fell off. The plus one, this one will last for quite a while longer, but the other one's already gone. We still have trolls and exhausted forests. My wife is pregnant. We're gonna make lots of babies. We're very fertile. Maybe it'd be better to actually survey the province. Wanna hire a mage? Sure. Study technology. Research cultural tech. Uh, yeah, I think we do research... Uh, well, let's just put him on this one for a second, see if that gives us a spell book. I don't know that uh, we are at all... I mean, we don't have magica. It might just be a class thing, like... We don't even get to try to cast spells, probably. Fredegar has become Master of Ceremonies. My son. Sweet dude. He has magic, huh? 
Yeah, it looks like it is. It's tied to your education. Alright, so no sense in doing this thing then. We'll have him instead study technology, probably. And the question is, what technology do we want? Well, we know we want improved keeps so we can build more stuff, so we can get more troops, so we can kill more people. So let's uh, try to find somebody who's got improved keeps at a fairly high level. I think we're going to go with this one because it's got some siege equipment. So that province there. Study technology here. Give me some technology. We got 741 troops. Um, this boy became 17 now. And he's got 600 men. So if we raise up our men and go loot, we could totally go loot. Although, I would much prefer to be leading the combat myself. We had at war happen to us. And another daughter. So my liege now is fighting somebody else again. Which means that I'm probably leading troops. No, he's had, he actually has me training troops in Whiterun. Which doesn't surprise me. Look at this levy multiplier. Train troops plus 82.5%. My character's awesome. He's epic. Come at me, bro. Come on. Come out and come out and play. Glass deposits. An extra tax income plus a bunch of other stuff. Cool. Got gemstones and glasses and the trolls and skeevers are all gone. <laughs> it's awesome. Um So like if we if we had the improved keeps, then we could start building Stuff that gives us more men, right? Or at least maybe even just more income. So like, I'd like to get the ones that increase just straight troop. Fort level minus 0.5. Ooh, guard quarters. I like that. I want that. Oh, we can. We can build stuff down here. We don't even need that tech, really. Just need money. That's why we're raiding. Give me your money. And your lives. We're gonna take these. We're gonna take both of them. You're not gonna come at me. You're you're chicken. It'd be so nice though if we actually were bordering some of this land, so we could actually collect the loot as we're sieging and looting down. But no, we want. Oh, looks like we have a new leash. Alright. That was interesting. Looks like our king, the king of Whiterun, King Siorjver the Noisy, um, gave away his duchy of Grey March to this guy. So he wants to make me Martian. So he gave away the, the duchy and didn't give it to me. Now he's given up his, like, level 33 marshal. What a dumb, dumb decision. Um, no. We're not going to be your leash. We're not going to be your marshal. We're going to fabricate a claim. Or not. We're not very... We're not very fabricate -y. We're not very good at it. Start a faction to make me the guy in Grey March. Can I just attack my leash? I am so much stronger than my leash, I could probably just attack him. What was that thing there? What was that? He's got adventures. Alright, we're gonna burn this one down now. Or not burn it down, but siege it again. Which will go pretty quick. Three ticks of twelve days. Alright, let's go home. Make sure we're at full, full, full garrison. So my wife just, I mean, she was just, you know, she needed to get her rocks off, and I was in prison for like 10 years, and so she just slept with some other king. She's still in love with, oh, she was in love with him, he must have died. I killed him with my thoughts. Solitude has formed, it's pretty big. 
It's a big... This is all, like, really independent, like, tiny little nations, and now everyone's, like, blobbing out pretty quick. Seems like Cassus Belli are frequently available. Um, so what are... what's our CBs? We can declare independence from him, which would just put us back underneath White Run. Uh, we could depose him. If we win the war, then he abdicates abdicates to King Sejourner of Whiterun. So basically we'd say, nope, we don't let him. He doesn't have an heir. That's that's why um, that would happen. His wife is pregnant, though. So let's, let's consider this for a second. This guy has um, a total of 597 troops, but we provide tons of that. So if we did declare war on him, we could probably beat him. guys get a missing ear. Well, I think we're going to do it. We're going to declare Depose Liege CB on you. Raise up our dudes. We're going to lead the troops. We're going to go straight into your holding. We're going to kick your butt. Fredegar! Fredegar! Get him. Win, Fredegar. Win! You are Fredegar. Don't die in combat. Itar F. Swindler's Den was captured. The Swordmaster of Grey March. Sweet. Is he worth anything? Nope. What do you want? Um, sure. I'll be your marshal temporarily. Hey, no, 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 wait, no, 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 no. Never mind. I, I was kidding. I was totally kidding. I'm leading troops here. Leave me alone. So, if his wife spits out that baby, then the one-year-old will become the new duke, and then we might be able to fabricate a claim on the duchy. If it ends up happening, um, and it goes instead to the, to the king, then instead, maybe he'll give the duchy to me, instead of that guy. You know? Kind of hard to say. What do you want? No. Fredegar! Fredegar! With an apostrophe! <laughs> That's his name. This one gets an apostrophe. Well, not apostrophe, exclamation mark. I know what I'm talking about. So fabricate a claim. No one likes me. But they'll probably like me a lot more than a one-year-old. And the one-year-old is there. Alright, we're going to speed up. So just wait on Siege. That puts us to 100%. Alright, so off peace and enforce demands. And he's going to abdicate to Horik. So now there is a zero-year-old on the throne, and maybe these people will be willing to join us. Let me guess, the zero-year-old wants to make me marshal. <laughs> awesome. Um, his opinion of Jarl Hork is positive, really. Which is plot to murder the kid then? His heir is, what, his father? We go back up to him. We'll just bounce the title around a bit. Okay, eventually we're going to get our hands on another territory, I swear. Maybe we attack the Rift. It is bordering us now. How many troops do you have? 500. We're allowed to attack you, right? Conquest of Cold Rock. Oh yeah, it's undefended and everything. Okay, we're, we're going to take a risk here. And I was totally kidding, yet again, about being your marshal. Because I have troops to lead. Alright, let's get on with it, man. We had that war happen to us. This is my territory. Alright, I'm going to take a break here, though. Thank you for watching, everyone. I'll see you again soon.